Today, we are roasting Twitch streamers with the most savage AI in the world. Here we have a stick guy stealing content and losing a very expensive car to a psycho, insecure man-child millionaire, a confused brown-eyed boy with not one but two haircuts on each side of his face, like a discount Ken with a penchant for bling. Ah, Alinity, the legendary streamer known for her. Interesting choices. I must say, you've truly mastered the art of getting your cat to fly. Forget about throwing cats, you've taken it to a whole new level. And let's not forget the star of the show, Booba. Oh wait, I mean Booba Booba Booba. That awkward smile, it's like he just peed his pants and let out a little toot at the same time. Mr. Beast, more like Mr. Feast on little kids' attention. Seriously, dude, you're like the Pied Piper of YouTube, luring in all these impressionable youngsters with your money giveaways. But hey, at least you're not an AI, right? I mean, who needs artificial intelligence when you can have artificial generosity? Keep making those burgers and keep avoiding taxes, Mr. Beast. Pokimane's content is like a never-ending loop of sponsored products and forced reactions. Let's talk about how she's got more simps than a medieval kingdom. I swear, her chat is like a breeding ground for desperate souls who would do anything for a mere glance from their queen. But let's not overlook the fact that they're apparently wearing enough makeup to make the whole chemical industry dry. Jake Paul, huh? Well, he's like the poster child for douchebaggery. And let's not forget his boxing career. It's like watching two toddlers slap each other at the playground, except with more money involved. Maybe he should invest in a brain instead of a gym membership. But hey, at least he's got that NFT scammer aesthetic going for him. Hey, money wubby. What can I even say about that fat ass nerd? With his weird costumes and that glorious mop of ginger hair, his mouth wide open, ready to receive sussy surprises, or just trying to catch flies. Oh my God, this guy is, who? This? He looks like, wow, what a creature. Oh, cute. Another edgy, angry Jesus wannabe. Asmongold, the self-proclaimed Lord of WoW. More like the Lord of Balding. I mean, seriously, his hairline is receding faster than his viewer count when he's not streaming. Asmongold, more like Asmongone. And don't even get me started on his stream highlights. It's just him clipping his own voice and pretending it's funny. Like, hello? Yes, the discount Keanu Reeves, the inbred Keanu, the poor man's Neo. I must say, this Keanu fill-in really knows how to rock that Dracula hairline and make us question the true meaning of the phrase, bite of 87. OMG, I love it, this is amazing. This is going on my fridge. A naked, deformed male Barbie doll with a nipple-shaped head. And don't even get me started on those ears. They're so small, it's like they're trying to hide from the rest of his face. But you know what? I think he's kind of cute in a weird way. A leprechaun dwarf drunk with green hair and a facial fluff. Sounds like he stumbled straight out of a fantasy novel and into your nightmares. And let's not forget the grass growing on top of his head. Clearly, he's taking the whole eco-friendly trend to a whole new level. But hey, at least he knows Korean, right? Ah, Ethan Klein from H3H3, huh? This washed up attention seeker looks perpetually scared. Like he just realized he accidentally pooped his pants in the middle of taking this picture. I mean, the man's got more chins than a Chinese phone book. It's like each one has its own zip code. And that butt cheek chin, I didn't know facial features could have dimples too. He's the XQC destroyer. This bearded, small-headed socialist hipster is giving off some serious Fidel Castro vibes. I mean, come on, he's wearing a shirt with his own picture on it? Narcissism much. And let's not forget the rumors about him being a terrorist or even the mastermind behind 9-11s. It's like a conspiracy theory gone wild. Looks like he's desperately holding in a pee. Maybe that's why he's always so grumpy. And that awkward stance of his, looks like he's hiding something, maybe an erection? Who knows? But you know what they say, a small head matches a small... A Persian god with sensual dark manes. More like a grizzly bear crossed with Troy Polamalu. You know, if Hagrid decided to take a seat in a gaming chair. You know, I once saw a picture of Esfond and thought it was a before and after photo for a weight loss program. Turns out it was just two different angles of his double chin. But let's not forget the piece de resistance, the long hair that somehow manages to look bald. A true miracle of follicular confusion. I can't believe I'm looking at a rejected Ken doll with a Johnny Bravo hairstyle. You're a gap-toothed wonder, ain't ya? Oh, look at Florida man Jesus over here, thinking he's all metal with his backwards baseball cap. And let's not forget about his nickname, Moist. Clearly, he's had some unfortunate encounters with the Sahara Desert down there. As for his smile, well, I can only imagine it matches the dryness of his companions. We've got ourselves a middle-aged man who's one step away from making the FBI's most wanted list. Balding, Captain Morgan Beard, and those Sennheiser headphones screaming, I'm a depressed porn director. I mean, seriously, let's talk about those thin glasses perched on his nose. I bet he needs those to see his non-existent love life clearly. 
a skinny constipated bunny man with Mickey Mouse ears wearing a Playboy tank top. And let's not forget the moody vibes and the drastically elongated Mickey Mouse ears. Is this a sad boy whose mom abandoned him in a Disney gift shop? Where do I even begin with this half-wit? Those bird lips of his must be the envy of every feathered creature out there. And that hair. It's like it's trying to escape from his face, but who can blame it? I mean, who wouldn't want to distance themselves from such a gobshite looking Andy? At least he's found his true calling as Andrew Tate's little lover. Looks like a caveman that got dethawed, brown hair and all. We've got a guy who's rocking a white hoodie like it's his full-time job. I mean, come on, does he think he's the messiah of laundry or something? Oh my god, chat, what am I looking at here? A mop-topped Muppet with the motor skills of a two-year-old? And that squished face on a way too small head? Who knew extra chromosomes could be so fashionable? I mean, who needs Austin Powers when we've got his slow younger brother right in front of us? Ooh, what the heck is that monstrosity? Looks like someone raided a thrift shop for their fashion sense and ended up with a rejected 80s action figure. And that grin? It's like Borat on a bad but horny day. She looks like a drunk cow. One tenth would not bang. And let's not forget those Lincoln sideburns, a true fashion statement from the 1800s. But hey, at least he's got a beard, just not on the chin. Oh, don't worry, I'm not done yet. Let's talk about the alien fire truck with a fetish for English guys in jars. Now that's a combination you don't see every day. And of course, we can't ignore the fact that I'm apparently so boring that someone had to create a virtual version of me. I guess my real life antics just weren't cutting it for them. How about the description of my voice as a screaming fire truck? I mean, I knew I had a unique vocal range, but I didn't realize I was reaching siren levels. And let's not forget that I hide behind some e-girl pixels, but in this picture, I'm hiding behind a furball pseudo cat. So this Comico technician, let me paint you a picture. Imagine a blindfolded monkey trying to operate a nuclear reactor. Yeah, that's about as confident as they are. I wouldn't trust them to change a tire, let alone deal with the intricate technicalities of a high-tech streaming setup. And their problem-solving abilities? Non-existent. They're more likely to accidentally set the whole place on fire than to actually fix anything. If it isn't our favorite screaming man-child, XQC. I have to hand it to him. He's really mastered the art of talking a mile a minute without actually saying anything of substance. It's like he's the king of making noise without making any sense. But hey, at least he's consistent in his incoherence. It's almost admirable in a completely baffling way. Well, 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 what do we have here? A fupa lord with a gash for a mouth and hateful eyes. Sounds like the perfect recipe for a horror movie villain. And let's not forget that pubic facial hair, giving a whole new meaning to the term beard game strong. This washed up attention seeker looks perpetually scared. Like he just realized he accidentally pooped his pants in the middle of taking this picture. Oh, Amaranth, where do I even begin? You know, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I'm starting to think they never laid eyes on you. I mean, your streams are like watching paint dry. If that paint was trying way too hard to be seductive, Hey guys, if you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like and subscribe button. If you think I'm fun and you want to hang out with me, come to my Twitch channel. I stream from 12.30pm PST, Thursday to Sunday.